Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Do not be surprised when you start having money after watching this. I made no mistake. I know what I said and I said what I said. Do not be surprised when you start having money after watching this video. You heard what I said, right? So now, before I can just go to the end of the video and I just made it clear and all, let me lay a foundation. That's why at the end of the day, what is the goal of this video is for you to have money. I have seen people who would complain, some they would ask for prayers for financial breakthrough. That's the reality. I know there are some people who say, oh no, we don't want you to talk about money. No, we don't care. We don't care. But the reality is like we live, it's almost someone who say, I don't care about food. At the end of the day, you cannot live without food. Same as money. You get what I'm saying? The problem comes when you want it so much, where now it removes your, your, your focus. You can no longer bad. We need money. We need food. We need to have a good life. We need to enjoy ourselves. It's all part and parcel of being a Christian. But if you don't want them things, they won't cost you from going to heaven as well. So it's all up to what you want. You get what I'm saying? It's all up to you and what you prefer. But at the end of the day, I want to speak to you right now. Don't be so shocked when you start having money. Let me start off with the first thing right here. You know, one of the things that uh, the Lord has taught me and I've learned throughout my life is that there is a time, that is true. There is a time where you pray for a financial breakthrough. There is a time where you expect a financial breakthrough. And uh, we are taught that many times that even the Bible is there. The Bible says Jesus became poor so that we can become rich. That is true. And uh, one of the things that came across my mind when I read that scripture was that, okay, since Jesus was uh, poor so my sake so that I can be rich, I'm supposed to just pray and tomorrow I'll be having money, 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 money. But in the, uh, as time went by, I got to learn it is true, but not in the way in which I think. And let me explain that part. It's one thing to be in financial need today. You pray, God, provide money for me. And indeed, someone can just come out of the blue. They give you money. And that money, let me tell you, it, there's a difference. Because that is a money, is a miracle money or a money of your uh, God answering your prayer. But the difference is this. You use that money today, tomorrow, it is gone, right? But the Lord came through for you. You were in financial need. You, were, you had no food. You, could, you did not have money to pay for your fees. You did not have money to pay for your children's fees. Whatever it is that you need money for, there's that money that comes just to rescue you, to pull you out of hot water at a time, and it goes. And then at least now you can start off again, build up. You live, you live, you live, you live. That is one thing. God has answered your prayer. God has uh, brought a miracle upon you and all these things. Then secondly, it is as important. That is still very true. You've been praying for money. You've been praying for financial breakthrough. But you must understand that that is a foundation on its own. It is a journey you are going through. And at that time, it's almost like this. When you are praying for your financial breakthrough, you are laying a foundation and the a strong foundation for that matter so that when the house has been built, when all the, the reserves have been built for you to install your money so that your money can be safe and it can stay for as long as you live. But if you, if God out of the blue is to just give you money like that, that money will just disappear. It's almost like lottery money, gambling money. You win it today, Tomorrow is finished. That is what is common because there was no solid foundation of that money. So here is the main thing that I want you to know with this way today. I might have said many things or I might still say many things. But if you can grasp this part, then everything else will make even more sense. This is one thing that God has taught me. In each and every person, you are indeed built or created with a gift. The Lord has gifted you. Okay? 
each and every person we have a gift that we got from birth. And some of these gifts, let me assure you one thing here. You will not know up until you're in a position. As kids, we grow up being, maybe if you are watching so much movies as a boy, you say, oh, now I want to be in karate. Oh, now I want to be an actor. Oh, I want to be this. And then as you grow some of the things, you start to lose interest. But they say he then give the inside of you that you do not know. And if you can finally, wait, or no, not if, when you finally discover that gift, that is what is going to take you far in life. And some of these gifts, we don't know up until we try them. I remember on TV, um, one of the things that I felt like I could do if I really give myself enough time is... I would see some entertainment videos on TV where people are doing funny things and what are on YouTube. And at some point it, it took time, but then I was like, wait a minute. I began tracing some of the things that I, I do as well. I was like, but wait a minute. It took me time, even a, like maybe a year or years, almost years or whatsoever. But one day I sat down and it's a recent thing that I'm telling you, telling you. I was like, wait a minute, I think if I really wanted to, I could also make such videos and I can open up a YouTube channel and do entertainment because somewhere, somehow I like, because you see someone going to a store and saying, I bought all the things here in store. I did this, this, that. I ate all the food in the room. You, you get those entertainment videos? Yes. So I sat down and I was like, wait a minute. I think if I wanted to do something like this, to me, it wouldn't be so much of a struggle because already I'm someone who likes posting when maybe I'm unboxing something. Sometimes I do fantasize on going to a store and buying maybe. I like eating tinkies, you know, they're just tinkies things. I'm like, one day maybe I should make a video and say I bought all the tinkies in, uh, at, the, at, the, at the store. I felt like that. So to me, it came that you see. What you are seeing on TV, you can also create content out of that and you, you, people can watch. And you like, that is your lifestyle. You do that on a daily basis. When you are living on an everyday thing, you like doing those funny things. It's just that yourself, you don't have a channel for it. You don't post it everywhere, but it's part of your abilities. So from there, I was like, okay. Indeed, if I was to take this more serious, I think I was going to make it in this field. Meaning, I could open a channel. I could, you know. So that's when I began to see that, wow, I did not know that I'm capable of this all along. So, I was, so that's when the Lord revealed to me that that is how you discover your gift. That is how, as me, your God, makes you to realize what you can do. Some of the things you realize them when you're grown. Moses did not know what his destiny was until he was at the age of 40 when he saw a burning bush god started speaking to him but still moses was still scared all of lord how can i can't even know how to talk meaning all along he did not know you could do that he discovered it late that this is your destiny and you can do it only you can do it in this manner so in jesus mighty name god is revealing your talent that is going to give you a major financial breakthrough He's going to give you a major business idea that you, you took lightly. But as you follow, you'll be so shocked that I did not know that I'm going to make it big out of what I'm doing now. Someone, you are having the spirit of wisdom. Someone right now, in fact, you've been wrestling with your mind. I'm being, I'm, I'm being convinced that you've been wrestling with your mind, not knowing what to do. But God has given you an idea. And I pray, may God be clear because Satan sometimes he is he's able to put people around you who when you share the idea, they can discourage you. And you've been getting discouraged and you are no longer sure. The Lord says, go on. Don't ignore the people. Only you, the dream has been given to you, not to them. So do what you feel like you can do. Praying, trusting in God and you will see at the end when they see that it's working, that's when they're going to begin to support you. I pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My details are on the comment section below and I speak financial breakthrough upon you right now. Amen.